beautiful, beautiful night. John, you know, our guests, you know who our guests are tonight? Have you, have you, have you looked? Have you looked at the board to see who we got yes. here tonight? Yes, Brett Baer. Fox News anchor Brett Baer. Basically, their, their evening news guy, like yes. their straight news guy. Brett That's Baer right. is here. And uh, from Curb Your Enthusiasm, Susie Essman is here tonight. Oh, yeah. And I found this out. I just found this out. They're no longer dating. Oh, wow. I'm going to get into a both of them, That's find out why not, what happened. Talk about. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm dying to know. I'm dying to know. What happened? You know, got to ask the tough questions. John, did you know that my head was asymmetrical? Did you know? Did you know about my ears? Did you know about this? Yes, I, I, I noticed that. And then one day you pointed it out to me. Yeah. By, by taking one ear and, and doing tucking a trick it inside, with it. doing this, doing this yeah. thing right here. See if the bear can do this. See if the bear can do this. <laughs> can you do that? See right there? All right. Can we show that on CBS? Is that too erotic for CBS, what just happened there? His ear got turgid. Now you're upset. Now you're upset. We are in the middle of Hispanic Heritage Month, which, of course, absolutely, give it up. Hispanic Heritage. Which you may know runs from September 15th through October 15th. Now, it seems strange that it runs mid-month to mid-month, but that's because Latin American calendars are metric. <laughs> but it's also due to the fact that September 15th marks the anniversary of independence from Spain in El Salvador, Costa Rica, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua, or as I'm proposing calling them, El Costa Mala Honduragua. <laughs> I think we can all agree it's important to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, even if we can't agree on what to call it because there's a lot of debate around terms like Hispanic, Latino, Latina, and Latinx. I am informed that these are all acceptable terms, but they're not interchangeable. I've learned that Hispanics are people who share the common language of Spanish, so that includes people from Spain, many Latin American countries, and wherever this guy is from. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> On the other hand, Latinos are people from Latin America, so that doesn't include Spain, but does include Brazil and Haiti, which aren't Spanish-speaking. And Latinx is preferred by some U.S.-born Latinos and also those who want to make it more gender-inclusive. And, of course, Latinx is also the girl who broke your heart during your study abroad in Barcelona. <laughs> I miss you, Maria. <laughs> Plus, the history of these words is complicated. The U.S. government didn't even start using the word Hispanic until it was introduced in the 1970 census by the Nixon administration. And I think we should always think twice before referring to minorities by what Nixon used to call them. <laughs> so we here at The Late Show decided that the best policy was to ask some of our Hispanic, Latino, and Latinx friends what they prefer to be called. Mira. I was born in Spain, so that makes me Hispanic. And because I'm Hispanic, this makes me five times sexier when I say things like paella valenciana or favada asturiana. Boom, beat that. I struggle with identity a lot. And, you know, if I am American and my name is America, then, like, how am I not Captain America? The truth is, I just want to be called, period. That was a message for my grandchildren. All Hispanics aren't Latinos, and all Latinos aren't Hispanic. But all Latinos and all Hispanics are incredibly handsome. How do I prefer to be called? I like to be called on my hamburger phone. It looks so silly, there's just no way it's going to be bad news. Hola, amigos. Si, ¿Sí? como estas? Thank you in Spanish, everybody. We'll be right back with Fox News Chief Political Anchor. 